Yeah, hi everyone, welcome to Lux for another week. Um, another quiet sort of week on the racetrack, but a couple of horses raced really well. Diamond Luke, he uh, he ran a really strong race the other day and uh, he was um, he was very, very good. Uh, he might have just raised the bar a little bit with that horse. I, I've sort of been trying to place him in sort of the weaker races I could find, but um, certainly um, he, his run the other day was in really strong company and uh, and he wasn't far beaten at all. So um, I might have to reassess where I head with him, but he's going really well, looks really well. He's nice and healthy. He's probably racing in career best form. So um, I'll, uh, there's a nice, little 2400 meter race at Geelong on Friday week that might be have his name written all over I think he's screaming for the 2400 and um, and uh, back to Geelong would really suit him also had a little mare called a uh, little filly called uh, Azoya would go up to Seymour and um, she was dead stiff jockey come back and said clearly thought he should have won uh, just lost this um, she was sort of off the bit still making ground but just copped a little bit of a check at the top of the straight and lost all her momentum and uh, probably cost her a couple of lengths and she was only beaten like three quarters of a length or so so she's also going really good I'm not sure where I'll take her but uh, I'd love to maybe go up to um, a 2,000 metre race with her now, maybe find a three-year-old 2,000 metre race, and she should be pretty close to be winning. Uh, as far as runners go, we're probably only going to have this little mare Tango Jewel go to the races. Um, I'm going to have the one runner, I think. Um, she, um, she, I had her in last week, and she just went off the ball a little bit, and um, we got a blood count taken from her. It was a little bit ordinary, but um, she since picked up really well, and uh, really happy with her now. And so I'll give her a gallop in the morning if she works up good. Um, she'll either go to Mornington on Monday or Ballarat on Tuesday. I've got her in both spots. I'll just have a look at the races and see which one pans out, which one looks the best uh, option for her. But um, uh, she's going to she'll bounce and just put herself in the race she's nice and bright she certainly um, was bright here yesterday morning and uh, so I expect her to work well tomorrow so that'll be Tango Jewel she'll either go to Mornington or Ballarat next week Good guys, uh, welcome to Around the Stables. Uh, this week's horse is uh, he's certainly the biggest horse in the stable, a Zippity Azusta. He's, uh, he's been back in work a couple of weeks now. He's had a really good spell. He, he spelled with his old mate, uh, Prince Ziggy. So uh, they've come back in at the same time. Uh, this guy, he had a really good prep last time in. He was really consistent and uh, uh, probably apart from his last run where he probably had enough, but uh, he, he won at Warnable really well and uh, either side of that, he, uh, he ran a second at Hamilton behind a pretty smart one and then uh, third at Warnable in, uh, in good grades. So he, uh, he coming in this time of year, heavy tracks and uh, I think back in his first prep, he actually ran third at Sandown. So that's probably pretty, pretty good form uh, on a heavy track to, to warrant that he, that he handles heavy tracks well enough so uh yeah i reckon he's in for a really good prep he's certainly matured and uh yeah he is what he is now so uh we should be able to get plenty of racing into him and uh yeah certainly keen to to get, to get him to the races this time of year in the middle of winter that's zippity zusta Yeah, that's it for another week at Empsey Lodge. Thanks for watching. Um, for those who asked, uh, Torquay beat um, the Amos the other day, Geelong Amateurs the other day in the footy, so Brad had the bra uh, bragging rights over James and Derby, but um, the boys uh, all played well. Couple, they both kicked goals, and uh, two of the boys kicked goals, and uh, I thought they all played pretty good. It was pretty good having all three boys on the field. It was good. Uh, as far as us, uh, once again, really quiet this week. Only had maybe have the one runner. I'm um, going to take about four or five pens to the trials on Wednesday, and uh, and then th those horses will race the following week, so we'll probably have a really quiet month this month and then we'll be really really busy sort of the following month um also, we're going to the uh, Great Southern Sale this week. James is headed down there now, and uh, we're going to look at maybe purchasing a couple of weanlings. So keep a close eye on our website. Um, these sort of horses, you can buy them at sort of half price, and we can sort of grow them out here at the farm ourselves, and uh, and uh, and then hopefully we can race them as yearlings or two-year-old, get them broken in as yearlings, and that sort of stuff will start syndicating them. So um, really busy time. Other than that, other than we're not going to the races, a real lot. I'm really looking forward to going back to the races and have some um, have something half decent going around. But the, I'm really happy with the way the horses, the couple the horses that are actually at the races are, uh, are either winning or running a place so um anyway we'll see how we go eh till next week see you later uh, uh, his work today was was great again and um there you go mate going back to his food saturday he's an absolute certainty uh whatever you've got just load up um he won't get beat is that a bit more upbeat for you? You want that? <laughs>